All right. Um, we're going to talk about getting started with PowerShell um, to start with the basics. Um, first of all, I introduce myself. I'm David Prouse. Um, I have a wife of over 20 years, three daughters, um, 15, 13, and 8, so decent range. Um, and yeah, about ready to start driving, so that's always fun. Um, I love working with tech and automation. Um, I am currently working for Beacon Credit Union as a systems engineer and work with tons of technology. One of the big things I get to do is test new technologies that we're going to look at doing, uh, so it's always fun. Um, been in tech about 10 years, and um, I've been a uh, VMUG leader for about two years up in Fort Wayne. As you can see, I shameless plug for our group on the, on the slides. So. Um, first year as a VMware ex v expert, which is cool, and you can follow me on Twitter. Um, I don't tweet a lot, but um, I do some, so it's at Compute This. Long story behind that name, but that's my, my Twitter handle. Um, all right, getting started with PowerShell, um, one of the first things is to underst understand the structure of how PowerShell commandlets work. Um, they always follow a pattern. You start off with um, verbs, and then you have a dash noun, um, and then optionally there's parameters. Some, um, depending on the commandlet, parameters may be uh, required. But um, so on the verb, you think of that as the action that you're going to perform. Um, so get, set, new are some of the most popular. Um, there's lots of others, but those are the main ones. Um, if you open up PowerShell and just type in get dash verb, it's going to show you um, all of the uh, PowerShell commandlets or uh, verbs that are approved by uh, to be used. So, um, And then the nouns, um, there's some examples. Um, it's what type of object or object type that you're going to work with. Um, so like get process would get you all the processes running on your machine, get services. Um, so a couple of examples. Um, would get those, there's, but there's thousands of different commandlets depending on what you want to do. Um, then parameters, um, some common ones are what if, very important to use what if, um, so that you can test your code before you actually do something with it. Um, and then confirm is um, a good way to confirm that you want to answer questions that may come up um, throughout the, when you run the command. Um, and then verbose is just going to show you all the things that it's doing in the background. Um, so those are some of the common ones that, that are available to be used. Um, so as you get started with uh, using PowerShell, start with small stuff. Don't try to do a real long, um, huge script um, that you, you know, want to go out and deploy a whole vCenter and you know, host and all that all in one script. Start small. Um, you know, to learn the basics um, and figure out how, how to build on from there. Um, so um, things like um, um, get the list of services, like we mentioned, uh, get service, um, and then you can use that kind of to figure out where, what you want to restart. So like restart service um, spooler, uh, restart service, and then the name of the service you want to restart. Those are good ones to start with. Um, and just get your feet wet and um, yeah, work your way through that. Um, don't recreate the wheel. Um, you know, Google is your friend, um, or you know, Bing or whatever you want to use. But um, more than likely, whatever you're looking to do has been created by somebody else. Um, so um, you know, use what they've got, but make sure that you un try to understand what their script is doing because you don't want to just pull in a script in your um, um, into your environment and just run it, not knowing what it's doing. Is that my laptop doing that? Sorry. Oh. Um, and then um, if you ever do a search for the parameter side of things, um, that, so you have like dash properties, for example, you want to put things like that in quotes um, so that it makes sure the, to use that dash. Um, otherwise, Google or, or your search engines will subtract out that. Um, that type of property or that type of parameter um, versus using that as part of your search criteria. Um, but then also on the flip side, if you create something that you haven't found or that, you know, um, that is new, 
make sure to share that with the community. Um, it's, that's big. Um, you know, there's lots of people out there to help you, but on, you know, on the flip side, you want to be able to help others because somebody else is going to have your exact issue um, at some point in the future. So, um, so however you want to share those, there's lots of different ways. VMUG community is a good way. Um, we'll plug or a plug for that, but the uh, community sites all have a have their own community pages where you can have repositories or you can use something like GitHub or whatever. Um, all right, um, some quick tips. Um, there's uh, something called modules, um, and basically it's a grouping of functions and code you know, around a central theme. So think of like Active Directory, VMware, um, Exchange, etc. And the plug Power CLI, uh, so that's VMware's um, module. Um, and how you install that is very simple um, compared to what it used to be. Um, you just open a PowerShell and type in install dash module space VMware dot PowerShell or Power CLI. Um, and then you know, typically you throw it under your own user. So that's the scope. And that, it's that simple to, to get, get started with Power CLI. So. Um, tab completion is your friend as well, um, so you can you don't have to fully type out every single um, commandlet. You can get it started and then start hitting tab, and it'll start alphabetically from what you've typed. Um, so, like if you hit get, uh, type in get dash, and then start hitting tab, it'll do. It'll start with the A's and just work its way down through, and then shift tab will go back the opposite direction. So, um, then there's Power uh, PowerShell. Um, ISE, um, that's the graphical interface for it. Um, so it's a great place to um, get started with um, writing new scripts. The um, ICE is um, color coded, so it's good to um, help you differentiate different things. Um, and so it helps with testing scripts as well, because you can um, highlight snippets and um, you know, lines of code and just run that specific line versus running your whole script out at one time. So, um, get help um, is a good way to um, um, get information about a commandlet. So you can type in something like uh, get help space get process, uh, process and it'll give you the help information for get process. Um, there's um, different parameters for the get help. So you have uh, some of the popular ones are de dash detailed. So that includes the parameters uh, description and its examples. Um, if you just want mainly the examples, you put it in dash example. Um, full gives you pretty much everything there is. And then online would actually go out to, to their online help page um, to pull that up. So um, that's very um, useful in, in learning what that script will do, or not that script, the command will do. So. Um, another useful item is get member. Uh, so it shows the properties and methods uh, for an object. Um, and that, again, will help you understand what that object that you're searching or you're working on um, can do. So like if you have the get service um, that we've been using in some of our examples, and then you use the pipe command. Um, for those of you who may not know what the pipe is, it's the, um, if you do shift, and then the, typically it's right above the enter key. Um, just the, the line, um, and then do get member, it'll pull up all the properties and you can see the um, for get, get service, and it's probably maybe a little hard on the video, but just do that on your own PowerShell and you'll see um, there's lots of different um, uh, parameters that you can, um, and properties that you can use against that. A um, few resources um, that are available, a real good book, um, it's about um, 30 days worth of lunches, so about an hour a day, um, is Learn PowerShell in a Month of Lunches. Um, it's not a real expensive um, book um, on Amazon, I'd not put a link to it, but um, it's really good for helping learn PowerShell. Um, and uh, um, if you attend our Fort Wayne VMUG next week, <laughs> We're giving away two two of those books. So, and I know some of this may be um, you, know, you may be watching it after next week. So, um, that's July 18th, so uh, 2018. Um, but a couple other things. There's some cheat sheets that you can get. Um, so the links are there. I will be posting this on the ND VMUG uh, 
community site and I'll also post it on the VMUG uh, or the Fort Wayne VMUG site as well um, in our repositories so that you can go out and get these slide decks um, as well so then you have the links. So. Um, and then of course the shameless plug for my group, here's the next, next coming uh, video or uh, meetings that are coming up. Um, we're doing, in the middle of the PowerShell, PowerCLI training. Uh, we start our second one July 18th next week. Um, and then September, or August 15th, and then we'll be finishing, well, probably finishing up that series um, in September at our um, quarterly meeting where Kyle Ruddy will be presenting um, along with Rupert. So that's all I have. Anybody have any basic questions for PowerShell? If not, feel free to reach out to me, um, you know, either through the Fort Wayne VMUG or through, um, through Twitter. Yeah. So. Oh, you do have a question. So, yeah, you have to repeat it for the thing, but yeah. how do you find teaching in large rooms? Is, is it easier to go to slides? Is it easier to tell everybody bring out a laptop? Is it easier to just follow along what I'm doing? What's, what's the best format that you found? So the question is, how, how have we best found to do training like this in a, in a large room um, where you have lots of people? Um, so we've done one training session like this. Um, we had about 25 people there. Um, and everybody had their laptops. We told them to bring them, and they were trying to follow along, and we were doing everything through slides. And it just didn't work real well because we didn't have um, um, exact um, examples of what we were going to go through. It was just more, here's PowerShell, and just basically flooded them with information. Um, this next, com next week, um, those we will actually be, we have scenarios. Um, We've created some online um, labs that we're going to go through um, that users can go in and, and physically do the same stuff that we're doing on the same machines that we're doing them on. Because um, you know, we were, all of our leaders, the ones that were um, doing this session, they all have workstation, uh, VMware workstation installed on their laptops. So they got labs you know, and, and VMs that they can run stuff on. Not everybody in the room had that. So we were trying to do some power CLI stuff with the PowerShell, and we really, really, we really were starting with the basics. I just went over a few of them. It was an hour-long session at that point. Uh, no, three-hour-long session <laughs> um, at that long at that point. Um, and it is recorded. We'll be putting it on YouTube at some point. Uh, we got to get it edited a little bit um, to shorten it up at the beginning because we started it like way too early. So there's a big lead-in, but. Um, so as we go through that, yeah, we're learning some, some different things on that and what the best format is. Because um, yeah, we've done some other recordings today about being volunteers. Well, our volunteers, they're new to this too. So they've, you know, they're not professionals at, the, at training. Um, they're just kind of feeling their way through it as well. Um, and our training actually is being done by one of our, me our members as well as one of our leaders. So there's um, kind of a joint, joint thing. Um, so. Okay. Thank you. Did you